uh, just how how kind of you handled this week um, of all the changes that have happened. Yeah, definitely a, a unique uh, week. You know, I've been in this profession for a long time, and you, you think you've gone through a lot of different experiences, uh, and this one was certainly a new one. Uh, I've been blown away, humbled, and impressed by how everyone's rallied together and, and focused, uh, the support that I've received. Um, and, you know, you, you take it one meeting, you know, one day at a time and, until you kind of find your groove. So. Uh, it's been a process, a bit of a whirlwind, but um, you know, impressed and, and humbled by everybody around me. When did you get the word that you'd be called place? Um, fairly close to the same time you guys did. <laughs> well, we didn't find that until yesterday. Yeah, uh, you know, there were some conversations uh, along the way, but um, you know, obviously, Coach Albrecht made the the announcement yesterday, and that's when it became official. Was there a reaction when when you found out? You know, when you learned that. The responsibilities would change. Uh, Nathaniel Hackett's one of the greatest men I know, and one of my closest, dearest friends. So, um, getting an opportunity like this, which is an incredible opportunity, uh, definitely came with a, a bittersweet taste because I love that man. I love his family. I think the world of him as a coach. I think even more of him as a as a uh, person and a friend. And so, you know, a lot of different emotions um, go through your brain, but. Um, you know, obviously it's an unbelievable opportunity, and I'm excited to do my best to help. Todd, one, one thing that the offense to this point has received criticism for is, is the lack of motioning, uh, the lack of creativity, things like that. Specifically with motioning, is that something that you would like to implement more of? Is it possible to make scheme changes like that in the middle of the season when you've been repping in a certain way for a while? You know, I think each week uh, as you prepare for, you know, the defense you're going against, you look for ways to create advantages. You look for ways to put stress on the defense. Uh, sometimes that will involve motion, and sometimes that could involve unique formations, things like that. I think it's going to be a week-by-week -week basis. And as far as how much you can implement in the middle of the season, uh, I, I think we have a really smart group of players. I think they can handle a lot. Uh, but that's going to be a case-by-case -case, uh, basis on how we think we can create advantage. You know. Aaron, Aaron obviously had like a you know unique relationship with Nate. They've gone back a long time, so like the play calling relationship, they, they kind of knew each other's language and all that stuff. So how do you, how do you go about that relationship with Aaron going forward, and how you guys approach this? You know, the way Aaron operates at the line of scrimmage and all that. Yeah. Well, fortunately, first of all. Uh, you know, Nathaniel's always been very collaborative in this process, and so I've been able to, you know, be in those meetings and, and listen to some of the nuance of, you know, how they discuss things. Second of all, I've been in every meeting that, that Aaron's been in from a position standpoint and an offensive standpoint. So, uh, you know, I think I, I've kind of learned a different language uh, that way uh, in some regards. And then, you know, obviously things are going to come out of my mouth a little differently. So there is going to be a process of figuring out, you know, the best way to communicate with him. And, um, you know, I want to be an open book to how I can best serve him and every one of our players. Todd, you're going, you're now like running the show and doing the game plan, calling the plays, and I'm sure you're running the meetings now with the guy who you replaced in the same room. Is that awkward at all? You know, you could, usually when a team makes a change, you know, the guy who's, the other guy's out, you know, but he's still here, and I'm just wondering how awkward that situation is. I think you're absolutely right that in a normal circumstance uh, with normal or everyday people, it would be. Um, I can't express to you the respect, uh, the just reverence I have for the way Nathaniel has uh, gone about his business. From the moment the switch occurred, uh, he walked into my office and told me that he wanted to support me and see me succeed in this role, and that the only thing that mattered to him was this offense putting together a good product, and that's winning football games. Uh, he put his ego aside. He is an absolute servant, and um, it, it really has been humbling to watch how he's handled this. So I think uh, you know most people out there, if they went through what, what he's going through, They'd uh, make it awkward. He has not. He has stood up and answered the bell in ways that I couldn't even have imagined. Is there any, I think those of us who watch training camp and joint practices thought this team was going to have a really strong run game. That's what it looked like in the summer. It hasn't materialized. What, what has gone wrong with the run of the Russian attack? First of all, this team does have a strong run game. We just haven't seen it come to fruition consistently enough. 
Um, secondly, you know, I, I think there become times where uh, you can find people pressing a little bit because there's an expectation for production, and, and when it's not met, you can feel a, a sense of urgency. Um, but I believe our guys are ready to, to answer the bell and make the quarter turn adjustments we need to make to get this thing on track.